Hello, everybody. It is David Clausen here with English-Quickly.com. And uh, we have a few seconds here. So I want to just test everything to make sure uh, we are going here live. I'll test my audio. I'm uh, going to make sure. I've made some mistakes before, and <laughs> I don't want to do that again. And I think we are good to go here. Um, let me just double check the timing here. And I think we are ready to broadcast. So uh, if anybody is out there, um, Feel free to um, type in any questions that you have. I'm also on Skype. So uh, feel free to call in on Skype. I'll give you my number here in just a moment. But I think we are about to begin. And... So I will share my screen to make sure that uh, you see everything. So, okay, I'm going to uh, start this thing here. I'm going to share that, present to everyone. And before we start, um, if you do have questions, during the broadcast, feel free to call me on Skype. With uh, Skype, we can then talk, and it's good practice for your English, a good way to interact. So I'm going to type D. Clausen underscore two at Skype, so feel free to call in. Also, I should have a little chat here, and uh, you can type in on the chat on YouTube, and that should, uh, you know, I'll be looking at that for any questions that you might have. So, good. So we have a uh, fun week, or we had a fun week. What we're going to learn today is the number two movie of the week, which is called Dracula Untold. We'll check out a cool trailer about it. We are going to learn the number three song of the week because the number two and the number one we have already done. We'll listen to some lyrics by it. We're going to look at the number two book of the week here on Amazon. This cool... <laughs> infographic with 11 hotel perks. I'll teach you what perks mean to have a perk. This new site that people are saying Facebook might worry. I don't know about that, but we'll see. The picture of the week or the day and our word of the day, plus much, much more we will learn a lot of different vocabulary uh, to help us learn English. And so I am broadcasting. I live in the United States. If you have just come in, my name is David Clausen, and I am in, here is Denver. Colorado is the state. 
and I am broadcasting from Golden, Colorado. So Golden, it's just west of Denver, about 15 miles. Uh, we're getting happy here. The uh, It's about to snow. So it's kind of um, exciting for skiing. We like to ski. If you're not sure what skiing is, I'll type that in. And before I do, if you have questions, I'm at Skype, dclawson underscore two. So this is to go ski, you know, skiing we will be doing here pretty soon. Also, if you have uh, any questions or uh, you want to learn daily English, I have uh, my Learn English Quickly at Facebook, and I update it with quotes and videos um, to help you learn English on a daily basis. So it's a great way to learn, you know, fun little graphics to... Um, check out and stuff so that's at learn english quickly on my facebook page let me make that bigger so you can see it just go to facebook type in learn english quickly and you'll see my picture there or the picture here and each day you will get an update on um on what's going on and stuff. So, good. So let's start in. Last week, we did the number one movie of the week, which was Gone Girl. And it was based upon a uh, murder between, or a possible murder between the husband and the wife. And if you recall, it's also the number one book in the United States right now. So Gone Girl is a big, big media event going on. But the number two is, and let me make that bigger for you so you can see it. It's called Dracula Untold, and it's already made $23,514,616. So not bad. I'll show you the budget or the money they paid to make it. And if you're not sure, Dracula in English, it's about a vampire. And this is a vampire, uh, a make-believe thing that uh, drinks blood. <laughs> we call those vampires. They're not real, but people love them. It's, uh, especially now in America, we're getting ready for Halloween, and I'll talk about that. It's... Um, Many kids like to dress up like a vampire. You dress up and you get candy, good sweets in the United States. So the movie is about this vampire. The year is 1462 in Transylvania, which is in Europe, has enjoyed a prolonged period of peace under the just and fair rule of the battle weary Vlad the third prince of Wallachia and his beloved and brave and we'll read more about it over here here is the poster for the movie so Dracula told is a 2014 dark fantasy action we call that film directed by Gary Shore in his feature film debut so his debut that's his first film and what he did was rather than focus on the irish novelist bram stoker's 1897 novel novel is a book 
So Dracula came from 1897. The film creates an origin story. So origin means the beginning, origin story, the beginning, for its title character, Count Dracula. Okay, so it starts from Dracula and the beginnings, the beginnings of it. Let's see a trailer. So you get an idea, and I'll turn that up here. So hopefully you hear that. Let me turn up my microphone. And hopefully you hear all of this. So a lot of violence, we call that <laughs> swords, killing, blood. You know, if you like that, then uh, check it out. The boy says, sometimes what it needs is a monster, like a vampire monster. Here, let me show you a monster just to make sure. So this is a monster. So, well, that's a monster energy drink. These are monsters right here. That would be a monster. Uh, there's the movie Monsters, Inc. So let's go back to the movie. And I just let me double check something. Um, make sure everything is technically working. Okay, so let's go back to the preview. So he's going to fight evil. Evil or is bad things, bad things. So that's the movie Dracula. You know, if you're into vampires and action and dark kind of movies, then go check. Dracula should be coming to a country wherever you are pretty soon. All right, let's move on. So the number one song in the United States, and let me make that a little bigger, is all about that bass, and we talked about that a couple weeks ago. The number two song, Shake It Off, Taylor Swift, I talked about last week. So this week, we will learn about Black Widow by Iggy Azalea. And this is a Black 
Widow. So another dark theme. Black Widow is a spider. So you'll see from the lyrics why it's a um she is a black widow so if you start here here are the lyrics of the song i'm gonna love you until you hate me <laughs> so that kind of tells it all right there and i'm gonna show you what's really crazy okay so she's kind of crazy basically you used to be thirsty for me so her man the guy used to be really liked her but now you want to be set free but the man wants to be set free he is done he doesn't want to deal with uh, her anymore so let's listen a little bit let me start from the beginning So, <laughs> I'm going to love you like a black widow, baby. So, you date her, you get to be a black widow. So, you better watch out for her, Iggy Azela. So, this twisted cat and mouse game. So, probably in your language, we say, you know, to play cat and mouse. You know, we'll say in English, you know, cat and mouse. This was a famous cartoon. So basically, that's kind of how their love is. I'll play a little more here. So she feels stupid for all the time that she gave him. So she didn't like she doesn't like that he is going to leave so basically the boyfriend lee wants to leave the girlfriend so that's kind of and she does not like that you now he wants to leave he's saying goodbye but she doesn't like that at all So, like it will last forever, but now forever ain't as long. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be stuck singing this song. So, you know, if you like a little Black Widow, a little um, darkness, then check out the song Black Widow, number three in the United States. All right, here we go. The New York Times bestseller, the best-selling books. Number one is That Gone Girl, but number two is called Deadline by John Sanford. So here's the book. John Sanford is the author, and the title is Deadline. And this is kind of a dark one. So in southeast Minnesota, so I'll type in minnesota and that's in the united states so here is minnesota and they say in the southeast minnesota so they'll be right around here okay in the united states Down on the Mississippi, so the Mississippi River, I'll show you that. That's the longest river in North America. 
So here's the Mississippi River. So probably down around here, Mississippi River. A school board meeting is coming to an end. So school board meeting. Okay, school board, that's when people talk about school, what a school should be doing. The board chairman announces that the rest of the meeting will be closed due to personal issues. Issues is correct. The proposal up for a vote before them is whether to authorize, to say, to allow the killing of a local reporter, the vote is four to one in favor. So this school board <laughs> has voted, so an election voted to kill a reporter, a local reporter, reporter that's close. This is a reporter. So that's got a crazy theme. So it's about a murder or a thrilling, a thriller, the thrilling new novel. So that's the number two book, Deadline by John Sanford. Okay, let's take a look at our daily infographic of the day. And this is, <laughs> if you are a rich person, this is kind of, wow, perks. Perks is something special that you get. So 11 hotel perks you won't believe exist. Okay, so if you go to one of these hotels, 11 hotel perks you won't believe exist. You can have this from these hotels. So super hotels. For the mega rich, so very rich people, are popping up the world over. And a game of one-upmanship is developing, meaning uh, one hotel wants to beat another hotel. Here is just a small selection of the treats available right now. So, arrive by Paraglide. Let me make this bigger. So this is the Paraglide. Arrive in style by paragliding right to the entrance, strapped to a pro. So you come to the hotel in a Paraglide. That's in Oman. Ziggy Bay, Oman. I'm curious where that is. I'm not sure. Ziggy Bay. Let's see here. Ziggy Bay and in Oman. So let me go out a little bit. Here is, uh, So here is the United Arab Emirates, and here is Oman, the country of Oman. So you can paraglide in to that hotel right there. That'd be kind of fun, you know. So paraglide. An in-room body sensor. A temperature sensor that lets the staff know you're in the room and not to disturb. That's in Seattle. Washington. That's in the United States. Here's a pet psychic. Uh, a psychic is someone who uh, can tell the kind of the future or what is going on. So that's a psychic. <laughs> so you can get a, for your dog, find out exactly what matters to your pet how to improve your 
relationship. Where? Hotel Monaco in Portland. That's the United States. Sunshine Butler. So you get a, a butler. This is a butler. That's a butler. But at this hotel, you get a sunshine butler. He'll choose your factor, rub you down, and even polish your sunglasses. That's in Jersey in the United States. Complimentary Fender guitars. So you get guitars at the Hard Rock in Chicago. This is a guitar right here. Hangover. <laughs> Hangover is when you have drinking too much. So if I type in uh, drinking hangover, you know, if you drink too much, you know, then you're going to have this hangover. You know, drinking too much gives you a hangover. That's a hangover, we call that. So, <laughs> hangover concierge, water, snacks, massage, whatever you need. That's at the in New Orleans. Monterey hot phone. If the phone rings, then they've been spotted off to your private speedboat for a viewing. That's in the Maldives. Let me type in Maldives. So, those are islands. Here is India, Sri Lanka, and here are the Maldives. So, uh, uh, let's take a look at some photos. The Maldives looks very beautiful. Look at that. Look at that island. That's the Maldives. So, that looks pretty cool. So in the Maldives, you get a private speedboat for viewing. That looks gorgeous, beautiful. A kidnapping service. You get kidnapped. Here is kidnapping. It's, uh, but it's, this is for fun. Kidnapping is bad. It's a bad thing. When somebody is taken, that's kidnapping. But this is for fun. You're randomly whisked or taken away by staff to a secret waterfall for a romantic picnic. So that's in the Fiji. Let me type in the Fiji. Here's Fiji, it's an island. Here's Australia. So it's north of New Zealand. Let's check out some uh, photos from Fiji. Ooh, very beautiful, huh? Nice photos. Nice hotel. So that's Fiji and the beautiful resorts that are there. Here you get a complimentary supercar. So you can drive a Lamborghini. That's in Beverly Hills, California. And NASA Design Pillows. NASA's memory foam pillows come recommended by sleep concierge. So you get these beautiful pillows. A celebrity wake-up call. What? Wake up to a recorded message from the famous local country singers. That's in Nashville. So they will, a country singer will wake you up. So that's our infographic of the week. 11 hotel perks you won't believe exist. Cool site of the day. And they say that this could be competition to Facebook. I don't know. Today's cool site of the day is perhaps the biggest challenger to Facebook. It's called Elo or AO in Spanish. I'm not sure. So if you go there, AO is invite only. 
you request an invitation. So you're asked to be invited. So I don't know. Maybe it um, it's worth something. Photo of the day over the river. So this is, um, let me make this bigger. A tar mine edges up to the Boreal Forest and the McKay River in northern Alberta. So this is, these are the rivers in Alberta and these are the tar sands. The, um, let me type that in. Tar sands is for energy to uh, power. These are tar sands they use to uh, for electricity. So they help with um, energy, electricity. I've been tar sands. See, it's an electricity tar sands. Yeah, they give us electricity, electricity. So that's the photo of the day from National Geographic. And our word for the day is to analyze. To analyze something means to study something closely and carefully, to learn the nature and relationship of the parts of something by a close and careful examination. So you analyze a problem. The data was recorded and analyzed by computer. We took the sample to be chemically analyzed by a lab. Researchers are busy analyzing the results of the study. The bacteria were analyzed under a powerful microscope. So good. So that's um, our lesson for this week. And just remember if um, I have many more free videos at my website at english-quickly.com. And also uh, my Facebook page, it is great for to learn daily, you know, with quotes, videos, different pictures, graphics, things to help you learn English on a daily basis. So um, thanks so much for uh, being here. Um, if anybody has questions, I'll leave it open. Let me just check to see. So um, probably not. I will um, do this again um, next Sunday. So Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. So let me put in a time. I'll just put a world world times. Let's see. So let me make this bigger so you can see it. Uh, see if there's an easier one. Um, So if I put in current time, time Europe, I'll just put to Germany, let's just say. So right now it is 8.30 my time. So in Europe, it would be 4.30. Let's put uh, India. It would be eight o'clock in the evening in India. Let me put Japan, 11.30, so it's late at night, Japan time. And, you know, current time in, I'm in Denver. So I do this at eight in the morning, my time. So those are the different types. I'll do this uh, next Sunday as well.
I can even um, put it in. I'll put in the live event. So I'll uh, I'll click new live event. Let me make it big so you can see it. I'll put in uh, free English lesson with a live event from the best of the week. I'll put it in for next Sunday, the 26th. I'll put it in for 8 a.m. And I will create the event. So if I click on it, you'll see it's six days, 23 hours, 24 minutes, and 25 seconds from now. I'll put this link on my Facebook page. Next live event. So I'll put that in and I'll post it. So you can come to my Facebook page and then click on it and it'll take you to when I will have it. So you can check out the time when that will be. So thanks so much for your time and I hope you learned something. So I'll be ending this broadcast and have a great week and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.